Hey everyone, it's Blocky. It's Friday afternoon, wrapping up for the day. Beard's a mess, hair's a mess, office is a mess. But you know what's not a mess? My back. My back feels good. Um, I've done a few things over the years that have made my neck and back pain almost completely go away. Number one is I stand. I actually stand for all of my procedures. I stand in my back office, I stand chair side. I've completely gotten rid of uh, my chairs. In fact, my assistant stand as well. Uh, and some of them have said their back feels better too. Um, second most important thing that I've done physically is uh, isolation device. I use an isolation device almost on every procedure, extractions, implants, fillings, crowns. I used to have tremendous amount of shoulder pain uh, from a surgery about 10 years ago. But now I don't have to deal with retracting a pesky tongue or lip or cheek. Uh, and I couldn't tolerate an overhead light over my loops. So the isolation device gives me that extra light and helps me get rid of the tongue, the lip, the cheek, and has made uh, pain with my shoulder um, so much less. Um, and number three is that I move the patient's head where I need them to go. Uh, I am in total control uh, over that 10, 15 minute procedure. I'll move them left, right, up, down, uh, and I used to not want to bother them, and I would crane my neck uh, to make them comfortable. I felt like I was annoying them, which is silly. Now I will have them move all over the place, up, down, and actually I think they appreciate it because it shows that I'm in total control, um, and they want the procedure to go smoothly and me be comfortable because if I'm comfortable, then I'm going to do a better job. So. They appreciate it. So uh, my three tips for uh, feeling better at the end of the day is standing, isolation device, and move the patient's head where you need it to be. Take care.